What's up guys, in this lesson we're looking at passing chords to the 6th chord. Uh, if you've been with me in this series so far, well done. And I hope you're using these passing chords in regular songs in your everyday lives, alright? So, uh, I mean, if this is your first time here as well, consider subscribing to this channel and let us get right into the lesson. So, the 6th chord in the key of, you know, using the key of C will be an A minor chord. All right, it's a regular minor. I like to bring my thumb down a whole step to get my seventh chord. Sounds much better, right? Great. So now um, the first type we're going to do is going to be similar to what we did uh, for us passing chords to the two chord, right? Um, we're going to do a walk up to the six, okay? So it's going to sound like this. Uh, Okay, so let's play a regular uh, 6, 4, 1, 5. So 6, 4, 1, 5. Right? What I'm doing is I'm doing a walk up from the three up to the six. So I'm doing, I'm playing the three, sharp four, sharp five to the six. Okay, so three, sharp four, sharp five, and to the six. So for the three chord, I'm playing a major three, right? Out of the key, I know. So in the key of C, but we are playing. And E as a major because of the kind of passing chords. When it comes to passing chords, you don't want to be stuck with diatonic rules, right? Diatonic rules detect that you play only whites when you're playing the key of C, but that's not the case now, right? So um, let's take that. Um, first chord is a major E. And on the sharp four and sharp five, you're going to use the sus two uh, on the right. So use the sus two of the two chord so it's a sus two chord of the d over the sharp four and then a sus two chord of the e over the over the sharp five right in the right and then you hit this this, this note and then we come to regular minor chord right um yeah so taking it slow You slow it down a little bit on the last one before it hits the next one, right? So uh, let's try it with the six, six, four, one, five chord progression. So let's say we are on okay six. So see that? Yeah. Right? Great. Now, um, you remember we did this in two forms, right? So the next, the, the other version is you are going to use diminished seven chords to play the sharp four and then the sharp five, right? So for that, you're going to play your first chord the same, like, like that. And then when it gets to the diminished, uh, the sharp four, you so you're going to play this a diminished seven chord that has that note on top, and also has contains this note, right? So obviously it's a C diminished seven. So all right, sharp five. The D diminished seven. All right. 
So that's my uh, my sex chord. I like to play the one major chord, open with the octave and play that over the six. And it forms a nice minor nine chord or a minor seven if I take this one out, right? Great, so let's try one more time, so. So that's that's a nice uh, way of getting there. If we try this with our song "Ancient Words," uh, uh, "Ancient Words," right? Ever true. And if you do the one on the on the two chord, changing me and changing you. We are about to go to the six. So, um, yeah, try this uh, in as many keys as you can. All right. So let, let's let's try this maybe in the, in the key of C sharp at least. Then you take it to the rest. So uh, it's the key of C sharp. All right. Uh, yep. You have. I'll take it one more time, slow it down. And and this is without the diminished. If it has to be with a diminished seven chords, it's gonna sound like this. If you play the song uh, Asian's Words. Now, so you, you already know this movement to the two, so I'm going to play the movement to the two and the movement to the six, right? So, uh, each... that's the whole song, right? Perfect. Um, try this chord progression. Passing chords to the sixth chord. Practice it at as many uh, times as possible. Practice it as many times as possible, and uh, make sure that you're able to fit it in uh, songs. Regular six four six four one five four one five six four, or actual songs you already know. Um, just time it properly, right? So one. Two, da, 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 da. you start on the third count and then you play these sequence of chords leading you to the sixth chord all right uh, practice it let me know how it goes in the comment section below uh, thank you for joining me today see you in the next lesson